Last year, on the 40th anniversary of the Franz Edelman Award, we announced that INFORMS, in collaboration with UPS, was instituting a new major award. The UPS George D. Smith Prize recognizes the contributions of an important constituency of our profession. The academic programs that prepare the OR analytics practitioners who produce the impressive applications honored in the Edelman Award competition. The prize consists of a $10,000 cash award and will be announced annually at this gala. It goes to an academic program for effective and innovative preparation of students to be good practitioners of operations research. We interpret operations research in a broad sense. It includes everything from management science to analytics. This year, we were honored to have 18 excellent academic programs apply. I would now like to recognize the three finalists who were presented with a plaque earlier this evening. As I announce each, would the team members stand at their tables and remain standing throughout the announcement? Please hold your applause until all three finalists are announced. In alphabetical order, the finalists are Cornell University, School of Operations Research and Information Engineering, Master of Engineering Program. The lead for the Cornell team is Dr. Mark J. Eisner. Lehigh University, Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering. The lead for the Lehigh team is Professor Orly Thiele. University of Michigan, Tauber Institute for Global, Global Operations. The lead for the Tauber team is Professor Lawrence M. Seifert, Goff Smith co-director of the Tauber Institute for Global Operations. As you're probably aware, UPS was instrumental in proposing this major award and providing the financial sponsorship. I'd like to introduce Randy Stashik, Global Vice President of Engineering for UPS, who will say a few words. Thanks, Bob. I'm excited to be here today at this inaugural awarding of the UPS George D. Smith Prize. UPS, INFORMS, and CPMS collaborated to institute this award, which is named in the honor of the late George D. Smith, who was our second CEO. An accountant by training, he was an engineer in heart and mind. Throughout his tenure at UPS, he constantly strived to find better ways to do our work. After learning about operations research in the 1940s, he embraced it and tirelessly worked to innovate our operations to focus on efficiency, service, and sustainability. Above all, he instilled a culture of analytics which is integrated into our management approach. This culture is a testimony to George's foresight and a validation of our faith in this discipline. For an example, today UPS is in the midst of revolutionizing its package delivery operations through deployment of an operations research-based system. This system will be used by more than 55,000 service providers to plan and execute their work every day. Our vision is that all UPSers will be using analytics to do their job better. In this age of scarce resources, conflicting needs, and an abundance of choices, operations research has a significant role to play and the need for analytics professionals will continue to grow. I hope the George D. Smith Prize will challenge academic programs to find innovative ways to prepare future practitioners. I also ask my colleagues in industry to work with academic programs and support students acting as mentors and providing practical experience opportunities. One can debate whether operations research is an art or a science. What should not be debatable is that operations research is about creating a better life and a better future. Thank you. I'd like to thank CP, CPMS and the prize committee who worked countless hours in making this prize a reality. As I read the committee's names, I ask them to stand. Please hold your applause until all the committee members are standing. 
Susan Alban, Rutgers University. Cynthia Barnhart, MIT. Michael Gorman, University of Dayton. Russell Laib, Bank of America. Patricia Neri, SAS Institute Incorporated. Ranganath Nagahali, UPS, who is also the vice chair of the committee. More details about this prize may be found on the INFORMS website and in your program book. In this first year of competition, the committee was very pleasantly surprised by the quantity and quality of programs applying. It was hard but rewarding work to choose the finalists. Many outstanding programs could not become finalists this year, unfortunately. Selecting the winner from the finalists was also extremely difficult. Seeing the diversity, quality, and innovation of these entries has given the committee a unique and encouraging picture of how well we as a profession are preparing future practitioners. Plan to attend the special presentation at the conference on Tuesday at 3.40 p.m. in which the winner will describe their program in more detail. And now it is time to announce the winner. I'm pleased to announce that the 2012 winner of the UPS George D. Smith Prize is the University of Michigan Tauber Institute for Global, Op Global Operations. Here to accept the prize is Larry Seifert. And would the other members of the team please join him on stage. Thank you. We are um, extraordinarily honored to uh, win this UPS prize. First, we wish to recognize the other finalists and their outstanding programs, and we know this was not an easy decision for the prize committee. In addition to thanking the judges, we especially want to thank UPS for the generous support of this prize honoring George D. Smith. We believe in his vision of the value of OR and its importance to the enterprise. Our program is based on a unique collaboration between industry and the University of Michigan College of Engineering and the Ross School of Business. It is focused on global operations and successfully prepares engineering and business students to apply OR and advanced analytics to practical problems in industry. We do this through customized training, including a series of classes and modules, culminating in an intensive three and a half month multidisciplinary team project at a sponsoring company. This project verifies and validates the student's effective and innovation preparation. I'd like to recognize and thank the Tauber faculty and staff whose hard work ensures the success of the program but I want to stress that I am accepting this award on behalf of the students and alumni of the Tauber Institute for Global Operations, who repeatedly demonstrate to our project sponsors the breathtaking return on investment that can be achieved through the intelligent use of operations research, management science, and analytics. Again, thank you on behalf of the University of Michigan and the Tauber Institute for Global Operations for this honor. <laughs> 